Are we all here? Yep. Okay. Overview at the top. The case debate. On the criticism, I'm going to start at the permutation, and go down, and then go back to the top. Please don't hate. Eyes before. behind on the reasons why racial classifications and written things like racism are perpetuated and status quo. We are, are going to win on the quality of our evidence. They can see the slew of a link arguments that you will, will drastically outweigh any arguments that, that they can see. They can see the capitalist multiply produces things like racialized differences, which means that we have fundamentally won a sequencing argument, which means even if they access all the racial claims, this means that the uh, firm is a fundamental prerequisite to this claim because it, it theorizes the way that racial classifications produce. It also indicates that this can lead to a breakdown of particulars that plagues the status quo. This is exactly what fractious coalitions. This ultimately means that our link arguments will outweigh any offense that they could let us to alternatives. It also will outweigh any evidence of permutation because we solve the entirety of the case. Case debate. All his arguments here are worse than my Oklahoma accent. He says that voting rights is key to solve Howard Dick. see that democracy is ultimately co-opted by capitalism. Do you think that voting is going to do jack shit to solve anything? Things like elections are controlled by the capitalist media right now. This is why voting for elections between Al Gore and George Bush is really no distinction at all. This is the reason why the voting link arguments are fundamentally bankrupt. They can see the slew of link arguments from, our Hinnon, from uh, Hinnon in 1999. This is on the criticism flow, which indicated that this ultimately is just a nationalist discourse that gets people co-opted in the state, which is responsible for their oppression in the first place, which means are fundamentally impact turning all of these arguments now with the discipline debate. They can see that we are theorizing the reason why discipline happens are hidden evidence indicates the only reason why people are included in the status quo is premised on their own exclusion. They, in order to be included, they have to be recognized as excluded, i.e. people who do not, who go against the grain, who do not conform to the school, who do not integrate like they're supposed to, are disciplined and eliminated from the school. They can see this ultimately justifies and increases, uh, decreases academic achievement, increases things like incarceration, which obviously turns the entirety of the case. Only our interrogation, the reason why capitalism produces uh, these racialized differences can ultimately solve these if they control the internal to races, and they can see they will not be able to solve any of our curriculum claims. They don't have enough visionary teachers, only uh, collapsing in capitalism, refusing the impetus to get integrated and adopt a curriculum that teaches us to champion things like democracy, which are responsible for racial uh, subordination and status quo can solve. Okay. Starting with the permutation. The permutation is impossible if we want to link argument. First of all, I will answer that benefits, then I will articulate several dissats. First, he says that there is there is a benefit to reform. However, you have to ask the question, why are kids starving? It's not because they're black, but it's because they do not have the money. Foreigners are the weak, and when we stigmatize foreigners, we say that this is because the kids because they will take our jobs, because they threaten our capitalist order. This is the reason why capitalism is the reason why it produces things like racialized differences, which means children will always be starving in a world where they privilege things like race and do not interrogate the reason why capitalism does this in the first place. He says that they, they in, in broader coalition, universalism and coalitions. However, they can see that we solve coalitions too. Ultimately, it's a recourse to identity politics that causes fracturing along racialized lines that precludes any ability to access coalitions. Only recognizing the way that capitalism produces all of these racial identities and genders a true alliance that can break down capitalism. This is a conceded argument, which means it's not offered for them. They said there's more than class and it solves the binary. They may be able to win that oppression. There may be some oppression beyond the rich poor guy. That does not mean that capitalism isn't a right other, uh, under right other forms of oppression. They conceive that the capitalist by explains are in the bus reasons why capitalism, capitalism produces uh, these particular forms of binaries and pits people against one another, which is a reason why you should not focus on their identity politics, and you should uh, vote for us. Now the several dissents. The point is our darker evidence. This indicates that their multiplicity, i.e. this is the logic of the permutation, ultimately will gloss over class because it treats class as ju it is just similar to any other type of particularism. This ultimately dooms the interrogation of class, which produces those other forms of particularisms, uh, which means we don't want people to access coalitions arguments. Some point these are inclusion link arguments. They concede our hidden evidence, which, which uh, answers their right-wing arguments. This is ultimately co-opted because they champion the things like uh, the logic of the uh, democracy, which I indicates is controlled by right-wing elites right now, which means they just, in, they just in a similar people into this order, which is just a similar thing to the very order that is responsible for their oppression in the first place. Some point C is education leads to capitalism. This is a devastating answer to the permutation because it means that any education that is accessed under the permutation will ultimately uphold capitalism. Our standard evidence indicates they just make people uh, commodities for the labor market. Our Vincent evidence indicates this education trained them to uphold the liberal democratic notions they consider our dean evidence, which is what one in our no new answers to this in the toy which indicates that democracy now in the current age is the attack that capitalism takes. Our evidence indicates that capitalism is co-opted democracy. This proves the, uh, the election argument that I gave above. Now you can see the alternative. They can see 
secret alternative in case that you should do nothing so you should get into the case that the rush to act is no more true in the instances of rights that ultimately will get co-opted in the capitalist world. This is all of our link. Sure. evidence in the case that you have to refuse the ability and the belief in capitalism. Our evidence in the case that there could be no blueprint by it. However, it indicates that the way that capitalism flourishes now is our fundamental belief in it. And this is definitely symptomatic of their education claims that ideas can be somehow the path to liberation. Our evidence indicates that you first and foremost have to refuse that belief in capitalism. Our evidence indicates that collapses the ability of the capitalist world in the status quo. They've also conceded argument that this would engender particular forms of, uh, of alliances that would uh, solve the entirety of the case. They've conceded our dean evidence in the case that their democracy and their particularism arguments ultimately collapse coalitions. They've conceded this particularism is a denial of the universal notion against capitalism, which only our, our alternative can solve. Top of the debate, they say that the case outweighs. They've conceded. They say that poverty is killing millions. You have to ask yourself in the debate what produces that poverty. It is obviously things like capitalism. This is an argument they have not answered, which means we are a fundamental prerequisite to the case. They say there's other spillover. They concede that there's no spillover because they ultimately get co opted in the nationalist discourse, which, which prevents the type of spillover because they ultimately just mine the language of the status quo. They've seen the Rorty episode. They concede that alternative it does, not, uh, deny co- uh, does not deny concrete action. However, alternative evidence indicates that before we can take that concrete action, you have to deny your belief in capitalism, which to engender true concrete action, you should prefer the link arguments because they are specific to desegregation. They say plan focus. Their plan focus argument is not an argument about why our alternative sh- uh, is not a denial of our alternative. They concede that all of our link arguments are specific to the plan. They can weigh the 1AC, which we are in fundamentally linked to. And I will say no more here. They concede a slew of our link arguments, including our urban geography link arguments, which indicate that they just expand the reach of the state and then give them wanton power, which reinforce things like racism. They say the black white binary will not go for this link argument, but they've conceded that this legalism will ultimately rely on this black white binary because they can't access any of their race good arguments. They, they extend our Jarrow arguments. I've these above, which indicate that Jarrow ultimately just mines the language of the democracy. If women are Dean Evans, this is the attachment to capitalism. This is the reason why they would just uphold the capital over, and their education does not produce any particular forms of change. They make another spillover argument. They consider that we do not ignore race, but we just interrogate the way that racialized, racialization is produced, i.e., think by things like capitalism group, the Gibson Graham debate. They concede that we do not condone modern monolithic notion of capitalism. If anything, we recognize that capitalism is fragile. We say that you should refuse your belief in it. They say that we should not focus on entropies. They, they can see that we are the only people who can recognize how capitalism produces those entropies. They say that this is inevitable for the app. They have conceded that we are the only people who actually interrogate the reason why identity produces. The only other thing they say here is that welcome class trying to try to see all of our link currents indicate that class is ultimately that produces these things like racialized differences is the only thing that's key to engendering alliances that can collapse all of capitalism. 642.